uh, I take your comments very seriously so I went ahead and uh, made another attempt to tune up uh, the generator we actually gave it an oil change took out the air filter we ordered a new one it's on its way so it's running without air filter right now and I made some adjustments to the fuel air ratio the uh, voltage the governor and we maxed it out made sure there's 120 volts pulling through and I think that's what happened it was there wasn't 110 volts and I didn't know about it until now so let's go ahead and start the generator right here you hold it a little bit and then it'll turn up so if it doesn't start right you get to hold it and it'll kind of build up and then start so once it starts it hums and uh, I want to make sure that we have 120 volts because that's what we need so let's make sure you see it there I'll put these up here there's some 122 volts uh, so AC power now it does kind of pulsate maybe like plus or three plus or minus like three to four volts so that should be enough to uh, power things up now I'll go ahead and turn the uh, the AC on now it might pulse a little bit but I think maybe because we have the, the microwave running and all this running it might pull up more than it, it can deliver so let's go ahead and do it now I'll kind of gradually build up low high it's blowing very strong low cool so it's a pull the generator is low pulsing low you kind of see the voltage is uh it's gonna have to refine and kind of uh, build up a little bit more so it's 118 close to 120 Go to the high now. Blowing high and strong, and it's cooler now. Steadier, and it's about plus or minus two to looks like it was six. I saw, and then maybe if I unplug the microwave, that might help a little bit, so it kind of doesn't have too much uh, load on it. Let's see, let's unplug that. See if that helps any. Definitely might help the generator a little bit, so it keeps the. Uh, the range a little smaller between 117 to 118 uh, flash 116 sometimes but a little more a little, a little more steady to so what you want to do is kind of unload with as much as you can and that should provide more than enough to fuel the generator so let's go ahead and take a look real quick and um, show you what, what I did hey guys Yeah, the uh, black smoke will happen when uh, when it starts up and then uh, when it cools down. It's just kind of normal as part of it. But it's blowing clean. Running strong. 120 volts. Okay. And we are plugged into the uh, shoreline with the generator on, so it's running out of that. And uh, it's definitely doing a lot better. So thank you so much for uh, that feedback. Hopefully it's uh, helped a little bit. And I just see the pulsating. I was reading some forums that that seems to be normal. But um, before it wasn't normal because it dropped a whole lot. But it's normal for it to fluctuate uh, two to three volts up and down as it's being used. So yeah, AC blows a lot stronger now, a lot colder. Uh, definitely better than before. So thank you and talk to you then.